so for the genetics part, you, you get a piece of, uh, of sample, usually it's skin, but in cetaceans they have a very thick fat layer, so it's skin and fat. So you just have to take a bit of skin and you do a, a juice track DNA with a, normal is a commercial kit that you, you get everything in a box with all the reagents that you need and usually in, well for me, in, I get it in two days because you need to leave it, I leave it overnight uh, digesting at 54 degrees more or less, 54, 56. So then next day, in two days, you get your DNA. And then after you get your DNA, you do a whole series of processes to be able to amplify it afterwards. But you know that in geogenetics, we usually we don't use so much the single PCR for a single marker anymore and we try to build libraries and just uh, sequence a lot of different regions in the genome. So in the technique that I use I also do that and uh, so for a, each single extraction, each single sample, you put a, like a label to know which animal is it and then you can mix several samples together and then is when you amplify through PCR a lot of different regions in the genome at the same time. And then once you get that, you can send it for sequencing. So there's a lot of steps involved here, but I don't know if you're interested in one by one of them. But the key point is that you end up with thousands of uh, regions of the genome for every sample that every dolphin that you start with and you can sequence many of them in parallel and then use these labels that you have used to I informatically separate them.